In my recent travels in Singapore, I met a Christian mystic who told me something I would never forget. She said, God doesn't waste a single breath. And this simple sentence, this simple idea, is changing my life. Whether you believe in a God or not, whether you believe in a divine intelligence and divine orchestration of the universe, source, whatever you like to call it or not, does not matter for this simple principle, for this simple idea, which is that everything that happens in your life happens for a reason. Now, we can choose what this reason is. We can choose why something happened. After all, what we think, what we, what we believe, it's all made up. It's all fabricated. It's all things we've thought up in our minds. In our minds, we've created it. And so when you go through something that's painful, when you go through something that's uncomfortable, we can assign meaning to it. And through seeing that meaning, we can see that this taught us something. Now, maybe you're going through something really uncomfortable right now. Maybe it's really painful. And when you are there in that pain, it can be difficult to see the bigger picture. It can be difficult to zoom out, right? But think about times in your life when you've gone through something. And now looking back on it, you can see that that was exactly what you needed. When we zoomed in, we can't see it. But when we zoom out, we can zoom out and we can see that that small event led to another small event that led to something else. And this is all meaningful. This all mattered, right? When you meet somebody in life through a coincidence and that taught you something, which taught you something else, which is needed to grow you and to make you into the person you are today, right here and right now. So, are you going to assign meaning to the things that you've gone through? Are you going to see that God isn't wasting a single breath in your life? That God is divinely pushing you in a direction that is giving you opportunities? Or are you going to be a victim of your circumstances? And to see these things and to make a decision to make a change in your thinking and say, okay, I'm going to see the good from this. Changes you from a victim of your circumstances to somebody that's empowered in their circumstances. It turns the problem, it turns the pain into a gift, into a gift for tomorrow. And from there, you can come into a new space of empowerment, a new space of being beyond the pain, being beyond the circumstance, being beyond the situation. This is incredibly empowering. If there's something you regret, see how it taught you something. See how it's your greatest teacher. If there's something that makes you angry, realize that this is something that taught you how to maybe set boundaries. Maybe it taught you how um, to stand up for yourself. Maybe it taught you how to step into your power. Maybe all these events, whatever they might be, were there to teach you something, to teach you to step into your power. For who you are, it's beyond those circumstances. Because who you are is beyond the event, it's beyond the story, it's beyond the, what you tell yourself about who you are. Those are all things you have the power to decide. Because you aren't a fixed bubble of who you are. Who you are is constantly changing, it's shapeless, it's formless, it's constantly moving. You can't hold on to it. And so you can decide how you want to arrange it, how you want to arrange that you that you think you are, that is always in flux, that is always in flight. And so the simple saying of God doesn't waste a single breath really opens you up to seeing that 
all these events in our lives, all these coincidences, all these little happenings, even the little micro things which make you maybe a little bit annoyed, right? Like some things happened just earlier today which ticked me off just a little bit. And I could continue to be ticked off from it or I could see that, oh wow, this is a lesson. This is something that is changing me, it's changing who I am. It is a lesson from God, from source, from the universe, or just a lesson in general that you decide. It's up to you. I'm not here to tell you what to think. That's for you to decide. And realizing that, realizing the guru is within you, realizing that you can get beyond and be beyond the circumstances in your lives will help to shift everything that you go through, all the pain, all the suffering, all the dissatisfaction into gifts. And by realizing they are gifts, by changing your mind little by little, you move into a state of satisfaction. You move into a state of peace. And you make peace with what has happened. You make peace with the thing that you thought was a failure or mistake. And you see that that was just a point in time. A point in time that's constantly moving. And that point in time doesn't define you, but you can choose to let it empower you. You can choose to let it be a gift for today, for tomorrow, and for the future. There's this idea that the things we go through in our lives expand us, they grow us as people. And they also change our state of consciousness. So they force us to confront and be challenged by things. And in those circumstances, we can grow from it or we can decline from it. But I know if you're watching this video right now, you're probably a spiritual person like myself. And you probably are growing from these things. You probably don't even realize how much you've grown. So take this moment to reflect and to realize how much you've actually grown, how much you've expanded, how much these lessons of the past has changed you. And maybe if you're going through something difficult right now, just recognize that you are going through something that will be so tremendously beneficial for you. Because everything, every emotion is there to teach you something. It's a guide. It isn't bad. It's good. And so when you can see that it's there for a reason, you can welcome it. You can welcome it with loving arms. And when you can welcome it with loving arms, you transmute it from something that you dislike something that is painful into something that now is a teacher. And think about a teacher that is strict. You might not like this teacher at many at, at times. It might be frustrating to work with the teacher. But then that teacher helped you pass the test. That teacher helped you grow to where you are now. You can look at negative emotions like that. You can look at it like this is a teacher. And so when you are in a state of fear, see that this is a teacher helping you make a change, helping you step into your own power, which I know you can step into because you are stepping into this power every moment, every time you experience something and you make that change, you see it, you observe it, that is you getting beyond that emotion. That is you raising your consciousness. That is you expanding by recognizing what it is that is there. So God doesn't waste a single breath. Everything that is happening is expanding you. It's growing you. 
you just have to recognize that you have to step into that power you have to look at all these events and start to rewire your mind to see the positive to see the growth to see the joy in the thing you thought was the pain and to recognize that it was actually a gift this may be really hard to do in the moment this may be really difficult but if you can practice this, practice this in the micro, if you can practice this in the little things we go through day to day that annoy us, that frustrate us, we can start to become more satisfied with what we have. We can start to be more grateful. We can start to be more loving. We can start to have a better experience. This all leads us to being more satisfied. And when we can be more satisfied, we have a better experience. <laughs> So, whether or not God or the little man in the sky is uh, pulling the strings, who knows? But what we do have the power over is to change how we think, to change how we feel about things, and to see things as gifts, to let go of being a victim of our circumstances, and to realize that here and now, I have the power. You have the power. You can step into that power. You are stepping, in, stepping into that power. Question. I, I, I don't have a lot of regrets. I have experiences and I have things I've handled, you know, better than not. But sometimes you can't skip going through decision-making processes without being as sharp as you are later. That's sort of why you go by, go through. But I'll, I'll give you an example. So I said, how do I stay motivated and use that rejection to make me lean in and try harder? And so I would start to get better at when things didn't go my way, having the answer be to get back in a joyous place, trying to grow, trying to get better, um, without taking up, up too much time, even though it was okay and justified that I would feel frustrated, but not to let it linger past the point of being constructive. And that's only something you learn from going through those processes, you know. How about yourself? What's, what's something that you would say is, a, is, is, is for you a, a regret that you've 